Hey YouTubers, Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thanks for watching. Today we're talking about garbage disposals and we are going to run you through the step-by-step -step process on how to remove and reinsert that brand new garbage disposal. Let's do it. Here's the new unit and we have to install a brand new power cord kit. Do me a favor, do not stress out. This is a very simple process. We're gonna walk you through it. Step one, loosen terminal plate screw and remove terminal plate to expose splice compartment located on bottom of disposer in figure one. A, terminal plate, A, terminal plate. And as you can see here, there's the terminal plate. Phillips screw, let's go ahead and remove it. Step two, reach in splice compartment and extend the black and white wires. Well, you can't see anything yet, but once you Come in here and pull them right out. Step three, keep nut on Romex connector. And to see what that is, see Romex connector. I went ahead and opened up the actual cable kit and inside that is the Romex connector. And all we are going to do is position it on that little hole and screw it in until it's tight. Step four, Loosen the two screws on the Romex connector, which they already are, they're wide open like that, and insert the cord. Quick view of what the actual cord looks like on the tail end. The green in the middle will be your ground. We will connect that to the green screw. But step four is feed all three of these through here and out so you can access them. Another thing I wanna point out, see that cardboard? Very important, do not remove. Electrical wiring is fed through the Romex connector, and as you can see here, we now have access to them. Now we are going to use our Phillips screw and tighten this clamp. I do want to point out, there is a protection coating on this portion of the wire that feeds through the actual Romex connector. You just want to make sure, as you tighten this down, it is on this protectant. Phillips screws are tightened down, the wiring is secure. Give it a good tug just to verify that wiring does not come out, nor is it loose. Step five is an extremely important step. From the power cord kit, connect the power supply wire with the ribs to the disposer white wire. And I wanna point that out. As you can see, look very hard. That bottom wire is ribbed, that top wire is smooth. That ribbed wire, you'll connect it to the white wire, and that smooth wire, you will connect it to this black and yellow. Ribbed wire and white wire are now together and I'm going to use the orange wire nut and screw them together. Insert the wires into the wire nut and twist clockwise until tight. However, do not over tighten it. Next, grab the smooth wire and the black wire and mix them together and tighten them with the wire nut. Tighten supplied wire nut securely and then wrap with electrical tape. That's what the end result looks like. Wire nuts tightened down, wrapped with red electrical tape, and I'm going to position these carefully inside here. And then step six, fasten ring terminal on the green ground wire. So we can push that back, go ahead and remove that green Phillips screw, properly connect this, and retighten that screw down. Step seven, place all wires inside the splice compartment, and on to step eight, replace terminal plate and tighten the terminal plate screw. Terminal plate and Phillips screw is secure. 